Hello and welcome to Scrapping on the Fly. My name is Kristen and I'm here with day 11 of 30 Days of Sketches with Christie's Beautiful Life. And this is series 11. And our sketch today is brought to us by Natalie Turcoat Cloudsdale, I think. <laughs> I mean, I think that's how you say it. Um, and her Instagram will be linked below. This is a lot of fun. I love this a sketch it was fun and I have these three pictures from the last day of school for my son this is his favorite his teacher in the whole wide world that's his face when he realized she had left for the day before he could hug her goodbye so that is not going on this layout that'll have a layout probably all to itself because it's a pretty pitiful layout but I am using uh simple stories school life I have the embellishments I have the 12 by 12 sticker sheet and of course the sticker or the paper pack and I pulled this paper as well as the star paper out. I wasn't sure which one I wanted to use to map my pictures. So I pulled them both. I end up with one and not the other. Um, and then I have a white background paper because everything else that in this collection was too busy to get the full effect for what I wanted. So um, for these little strips here, instead of doodling, I'm going to use some of the scraps I have. And then I've got some mixed media. And I wasn't sure which one of these was going to match this collection best. So I have three different red colors. And I'm going to do a little swab and see which one works. And then I have the salvage patina because that is the closest to that uh, tealy aqua color uh, from what I have. So I have my papers, my embellishments, my mixed media, my pictures, and then, of course, this awesome sketch. So let's see how this goes. So first things first, I trimmed down my pictures a little because I didn't need that four by six um, in full. The top part of it had like parents and kids in the background of the playground and I didn't need them in the picture. So I just trimmed it up, trimmed down the bigger picture of my son on the swing and then the little picture I trimmed a little and that's my nephew on the swing. They both went to the same school and we're both in the same grade. So I'm trimming out, this is a piece of the um, a paper from the collection and it's rulers and I thought that would be fun to use for all four sides but I ended up using one with a bunch of alphas on it it was the back side of the ruler paper and I thought that would be neat I do end up inking it with some of the salvage patina so that the white does not disappear into the page but I liked bringing that into this lineup so I changed out that um, aqua color because I had the darker one that was closer to the teal and I was looking more towards this color than that one. Um, I don't think it would have made much of a difference. They're similar enough but this is the concept of what I'm wanting to do. I'm going to trim those rulers and um, get them to work for me. Now I did not put my title where she has the title. Um, will I go back and add a different title there? Probably not. Um, there are a lot of phrases and word phrases and things on here that um, can be construed as the title. So I kind of left it the way that I'd leave it um, with that possibility of if I find the perfect thing that will fit there, then I might add that. But for now, we're just going to go with how um, this layout ends up. Um, and I do like it a whole lot. It's super cute. And the concept of the sketch is so neat. And you could do that with doodling. Um, you could do it with branding strips, thinner, um, like border stickers or embellishments. You could do that with gemstones or um, enamel dots, ink. I mean, all the things. That's why I love sketches so much. I am getting this because I refuse to waste all this gorgeous star paper. The back of it is a cut apart, which I don't use a lot of the cut aparts in these collections because they're either really big or they just don't fit what I'm doing. So I did lay out all three of the reds and ended up on candied apple was the closest, almost actually identical to the red in the, um, in this collection. So it kind of was giving me a more of a maroony color when I was looking at it with nothing next to it. And so that's why I pulled in that aged mahogany, but it ended up the candy apple one. So I just took my little mini daubers that I got from, uh, Amazon and I just made five little dots, 
um, down here by these pictures. And then I'm going to do the same thing with salvage patina. I do end up coming in and putting another dot because I hang a banner up there where that one um, right below. Yep, right there. See, I'm going to cover that up. So I bring in another one um, just so that I still have that fifth um, dot in the inside. I can't handle all that white there, you all. Like, I'm looking at it going, oh my gosh, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? And it has on the sketch, it says text, text, text. So, you know, word phrases or journaling. I could have put a um, journaling card there or something like that. Ooh, all that white space. Ooh. <laughs> so I pull out the things that I think are going to work for me. Now, this one right here, this says teacher's pet. Yeah, that's, ah, oh, Yes. That is the most fitting thing I have pulled out um, to put on this layout. My child, to this day, is a teacher's pet for this teacher. She is at, at the school where I work. Um, and not at the time, not at this time. I just started uh, there this year. But she, oh my good gravy. This woman changed my child's life. And I am not even over-exaggerating that. That is 100% true. He, um, kindergarten was a rough year. He had a great teacher, but he was struggling a lot and needed more than what, um, they could offer when there's 25 other kids in the class. And then he went to first grade and had this amazing godsend and literally changed his life. By the fourth day of school, he was reading books to his classmates and she sent me a video and it was the most amazing amazing thing and so I will forever be grateful to this woman and I'm so glad that I get to work side by side with her now and um it's just fabulous and so he still comes to school to see her <laughs> and uh, adores her she got lucky and got to have her again in fourth and fifth grade and so he had her for half of his elementary school life so, but that picture I shared in the beginning uh, was him the last day of school. This was like during their little performance that they had during the day and then he stayed. And then um, I went to go pick him up from his after school program and he just assumed he'd see her there. And when she wasn't there, he was hysterical. He wanted me to go hunt her down and I wasn't going to do that. She's a teacher. It was the last day of school. <laughs> Uh, she ended up having lunch or having ice cream or something with him that summer and since then has had lunch with him even after he graduated from her class so yeah she would call him and they would chat bless bless his heart so yeah he is a teacher's pet uh, and she treats a lot of her all of her students that way but he just oh he loves that woman Anyway, <laughs> now that I have waxed poetic about uh, my kiddo's teacher from first, fourth, and fifth grade, um, back to the layout. I pulled from the ephemera, that school banner, because I thought that would fit really good and help my poor brain that will not accept all that white space. And then I brought that uh, little dauber back and put another little um, salvage patina dot underneath that banner so that it would stick out. Um, so it wasn't missing that fifth uh, little dot, like down in the bottom where the red is. And I like, I originally thought I'd do red and um, the candied apple and the salvage patina up at the top and then at the bottom. But I really kind of like the way it has one at the top and one at the bottom. And then I was able to embellish um, and stuff with either with the same thing. Like I, I ink around school life, which is down at the bottom picture. I inked around that with the um, candied apple. And then teacher's pet, I inked around with the salvage patina. But then the, and then the picture down in the bottom corner, I inked around that with the candied apple. And so I really do like the way that that turned out. And so I add some of this and that here, there, and the other. And then I'm going to cover these because I put a little bit of water on some squished out ink from the, pa from the um, ink pads. And I'm going to tap the candied apple up here on top of the salvage patina. And then turn around and do the other... Uh, uh, do the exact opposite down at the bottom and put some of the salvage patina on the bottom. And I do love the way that that turned out. So like I said, I may come back in and put a title up there in that gap where there is nothing. Um, I will put something there. I just can't decide what, and I didn't want to, you know, keep 
sitting here staring at it. So I may find the perfect title. And when I do my pictures for Instagram and Facebook, you will see that. <laughs> but for now, I still love it. And there's not a bunch of white space. So yay. <laughs> I hope you all will go check out all the other people who are hopping along on the playlist. Um, and go check out Natalie on Instagram. And I hope you'll come back again tomorrow because I plan on being here every day this month. So have a great day and happy scrapping.